All right, y'all. Peace and blessings. God bless you all. I'm Jarvis Kingston, and I hope that y'all doing all right and staying strong and solid in these times that we're in. I pray that you have repented and that you are baptized. I pray that you are safe, protected, and prayed up. And I just hope that whatever situation that you're going through, that the Lord is with you, that he guides you, he protects you, he looks out for you, he comforts you. I pray that your mental health, your physical health, your spiritual health, your physical health, your emotional health, your financial health gets better and improves in Jesus' name. I pray that you're just staying on that narrow path. You're fighting a good fight of faith. You keep your eyes fixed on Jesus. You keep your eyes fixed on the prize in that you run that race strongly, very strong, okay? You run that race strong, okay? It's an everyday fight, everyday battle, so keep on fighting with that word. Keep on that armor of God, people. Keep on the armor of God every day, all night long, everywhere you go. Hallelujah. Most definitely, y'all. Let us thank the Lord for another day. Let us thank the Lord for waking us up and giving us another chance. Let us thank the Lord for getting us through the night. Let us thank the Lord for his word, his grace, his favor, his mercy, his peace, his blessings, everything above more. Amen. There's so much things to be thankful for that we can't keep count of it, keep track of it. All right. Let us thank the Lord for his only begotten son who died for our sins. Amen. Hallelujah, y'all. Praise him, praise him, praise him, y'all. Welcome, everybody. Shalom, body of Christ. Greetings, family. I appreciate all of you guys for listening and supporting. It means a lot to me. I love you all, praying for you all, and just we have to always know that we have to encourage one another in the Lord. We have to uplift each other in Christ. Iron sharpens iron, take on each other's burdens, spread the word, love, gladness, joy, merry heart, strength, harmony, peace, unity, love, in Jesus' name, amen. So let's always be mindful of that, y'all. Yes, yes, welcome everybody, all peoples, all nations, all tribes, all languages, all tongues, all races, all faces, all four corners of the earth. Whether you are an Israelite or a Gentile, it's all right. Whether you are chosen or adopted, it is all right. Let us gather, praise the Lord, be in unity, and give him all the praise, give him all the glory, and just stay in his presence and proclaim how amazing he is among the other nations. Hallelujah. Most definitely, y'all. Let us love the Lord our God for all of our mind, heart, soul, strength, and might. Let us love the Lord and just keep on living for him and pleasing him. Amen. Let us love our neighbors as we love ourselves. And let's just keep doing Father's business and Father's will for the rest of our lives until his son comes back. Amen. His son comes back in an hour. Nobody knows but him. He is coming like a thief in the night. So stay ready. Stay sharp. Stay prepared. And stay on point, people. Hallelujah. Most definitely, y'all. All right. So on today's message, we're going to go through this news roundup. So much things going on all four corners of the earth, whether it comes to politics, health, science, news, business, technology, so forth and so forth, all right? Sports, entertainment, there's a lot going on all throughout the world. So so it's important to be watchful, not fearful, but watchful, okay? A lot of prophecies being fulfilled, a lot of good, bad, and ugly being fulfilled right now as we speak, okay? So let's always be understanding of the times that we're in. We are in the days of Noah. We are in the last days. We are in perilous times, okay? So always understand to be strong and patient and calm through this crazy storm that we're all weathering, Amen. And we have to keep on just living for the Lord in these last days, all right? So what I would love to do is run through these news roundups, just go through the tabloids, and then just close out with a prayer, close out with a priestly blessing, and close out with giving all the praise, honor, and glory to the Most High God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And praise only be God, so and die for our sins. Amen. Hallelujah. So always remember not to be too righteous or too wise, because you'll ruin yourself doing that. And don't be so heavily minded, you know earthly good. You got to understand what's going on down here, understand how everything's playing out, and to uh, deal with it accordingly to the Word on how you know, the Word instructs us how to deal with these things. Amen. So let us always go to the Word for instruction, guidance, and so forth and so forth. Always go to the Father. Amen. Pray without ceasing, people. Pray without ceasing. All right. So let's go through this news roundup. Let's see what we have going on here. There's a crisis unfolding in Florida's waters. DeSantis hasn't said a word. Some environmental news. Hmm. And you Florida peoples around here. Webb Telescope captures a stunning new look at the iconic Ring Nubella Nebula telescopes. Okay, some astronomy news there. So for sound and sound and patient phys- physicians hires advisor for balance sheet help. Let's see, we have going on calls for Trump election interference trial to be televised part of long debate. A teen charged with murder and killing of a New York City dancer O'Shea Sibley. Mm, crazy stuff going on everywhere, people. Okay, y'all stay prayed up and strong. Let's see what we have here. U.S. employers add a still solid 187,000 jobs in July. 
Australian News Live, Anthony Albanese to address Garma Festival, Tasmanian Liberals to meet without Dutton, Dutton. The Five Great Reads, Why the Wolf of Wall Street Tried Contaminating Cancer at 36 in the Company That Shuts for August. All right. Let's see what we have going on here. California Joshua Tree Severely Burned in Massive Wildfire. A lot of wildfires going on. Okay, New York Park erupts in chaos as live streamers giveaway goes Ari. Let's see what we have going on here. U.S. declines to invoke prisoner of war status for Travis King. Major fast food chains like Taco Bell, McDonald's, and Burger King are being targeted by more false advertising lawsuits, but few unhappy customers are reaping the rewards. Mm, lawsuit season, huh? <laughs> What happened to Jeep? The mother of all SUVs has lost its edge as sales fall and cars pile up on dealer lots. Hmm. Okay. Rich millennials are creating new status symbols as they start to buy homes and have kids. Here's 10 ways they are redefining luxury. Interesting. Utah, Arizona State apply for Big 12 membership. Sources say sports news. Lakers Anthony Davis agrees to NBA's richest annual extension deal. Oregon, Washington, finalize a move to the Big Ten. Okay, any college football fans out there? All right, let's see what we have here. Breaking Bad actor Mark Margalis dies at 83 years old. Let's see what we have going on here. Let's see, let's see. A lot more political news. A lot more entertainment news as well. All right, let's see what we have going on here. Mega Millions jackpot hits second largest amount in lottery's history ahead of Friday's drawings. <laughs> the lottery. All right, let's see what we have. Trump calls on Supreme Court to intercede in legal fights. Lawsuit filed to stop new student loan income-driven repayment plan. Hmm. All right, let's see furthermore as we go. The case for a soft landing in the economy just got another boost. Let's see. Kagan says Congress has power to regulate Supreme Court. All right, let's see what we have going on here. Kellogg CEO issues worrying warning on prices for all Americans and customers will need to be wary. Why are we on grocery stores? All right, let's see what we have going on here. Jacksonville congregations want to break from United Methodist Church over LGBTQ stances. Mm. Look at that there. Ain't that something? Let's see what we have here. Japan has millions of cheap abandoned homes. Here's what to know before you buy one. Family who died trying to live off the grid told loved ones about their plan. We tried to stop them. You know, it's funny because I did like probably three to five podcast episodes like really early in my podcast and uh, like two years ago about living off the grids and things like that, being in nature and what have you, so... Being in nature is a serious thing, but a lot of people will go back there in the end times, okay? Let's see. Federal appeal appeals court upholds Connecticut law that eliminated religious vaccination exemption. Hmm. Just as important as electricity or water, President Biden said the U.S. will spend $42 billion to give every person in America access to the Internet by 2030. Here are three stocks to pounce on. Hmm. A Christian singer mocks Idaho newspaper, calling worship gathering dangerous. Good news is that God wins. Hmm. An employee is fired for allowing diesel fuel to leak into a city water supply. Wow. That's crazy. Let's see what we have here. A one-year-old girl dies after grandma left her in the car for eight hours in while she went to work. Happened in Monday in New York. Wow. Let's see what we have here. Biden plans to cut deficit by $2.6 trillion by making the IRS paperless. Hmm. All right, let's see what we have here. From Samoa to the East Coast, doctors are diagnosing and treating climate change. People are concerned about how hot it is getting out here all over the world, okay? Let's see what we have here. Forget American mediocrity. China's scary spying system is already here. Mm, all this advanced technology. A cyber attack hits multiple U.S. hospitals. Emergency rooms closed. Ambulances rerouted. Wow. 
That's some crazy stuff. And this happened throughout California, Connecticut, Pennsylvania, Rhode Island, and Texas. Wow. That's some very huge news, and that's not being talked about enough. Wow. That's something people should be on the lookout for. See, this is why I do these news roundups, because like most cases, the mainstream media, they're not going to really want to talk about other articles. I have to like dig and search through an app for these articles. You know what I'm saying? People are picky and choosy about what they want to and, what, and not what to talk about. But you notice with social media, people are always distracted by celebrity and sports news. Like If you go on your timeline, you're going to always see something about a celebrity's personal life excuse me, or an a athlete's personal life. You don't see important, mindful things on the timeline unless you adjust your personalization or what you do or don't want to see on the timeline, what have you. But most things you look at on social media is garbage and distractions. Um, there's real stuff going on all four corners, okay? So um, it's very important to be watchful in these times, okay? Lion King actor Clifton Oliver has died at age 47. Hmm. Let's see what we have here. Chinese scientists calculate 1 billion ton carbon dioxide emissions cost cost of Canadian wildfires. Adults with no history of stroke or heart attack should not take start taking low dose aspirin. Low dose aspirin. Let's see what we have here. Let's see what we got going on. They're also talking about the kidnapping as well throughout Haiti and other parts of the world. Let's see what we got going on here. So all these things going on in different countries with war and things of that nature. I see a Kansas farmer planted 1.2 million sunflowers for his wife as a gift for their 50th wedding anniversary. That's nice and thoughtful. Some nice, good, positive news. Amen. We'll just end it on that. Amen. Because... Um, most news tends to be negative, degrading, or, um, you know, dark, but that's some bright news, some nice, all right? So it's a lot of sunflowers to plant for your wife, <laughs> all right? So we're going to end it on a good note with that, all right? So there you have it, all right? Now, what I love to do is I close out, give all the praise, honor, and glory to the Most High God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and praise his only begotten Son who died for our sins. Amen. Hallelujah, y'all. So here we go. Hallelujah, y'all. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All glory to him. He is the hope. He is the source. He is the truth, y'all. He definitely is the way. All right. He is the Adam, the second Adam, the last Adam, the advocate, the almighty, true and living God, the Alpha and Omega. Amen. The apostle of our profession, the arm of the Lord, the atonement sacrifice for our sins, the author and finisher of our faith, the author and perfecter of our faith, the author of life, the author of salvation, the beginning and the end, the beginning of creation of God, the beloved son, the blessing only potent, the blessing only ruler, the branch, the bread of God, the bread of life, the bridegroom, the capstone, the captain of salvation, the chief cornerstone, the chief shepherd, Christ, the Christ of God, the consolation of Israel, the cornerstone, the counselor, wonderful counselor, the creator, the day spring, the deliverer, the desire of the nations, the door, the elect of God, Emmanuel, the eternal life, the everlasting father, the faith and true witness, faithful and true, the faithful witness, the first and the last, the first begotten, the first born from the dead. Firstborn of all creation, the forerunner, the gate, the glory of the Lord, God, the good shepherd, the great high priest, the great shepherd, the head of the church, the heir of all things, the high priest, holy and true, the holy one, the hope, the hope of glory, the horn of salvation, the I am, the I am that I am, the image of God, Jehovah, Jehovah, Jireh, Jehovah, Shalom, Jesus of Nazareth, Jesus, the judge of Israel, the judge, King eternal. He is the king of Israel. Amen. He is the king of kings. Hallelujah. He is the king of kings and Lord of lords. Hosanna, Hosanna. King of saints, king of the ages, king of the Jews, the king, the lamb. The lamb of God, the lamb without blemish, the last Adam, the lawgiver, the leader and commander, the life, the life of the world. The lion of the tribe of Judah, the living one, the living stone. The Lord, the Lord, our righteousness. The Lord is my portion. The Lord is my rock. The Lord is my salvation. The Lord is my healer. The Lord is my deliverer. The Lord is my redeemer. The Lord is my strength. The Lord is my refuge. The Lord is my high tower. The Lord is my shield. If God is with me, who is against me? The Lord, our God, is one. He is a sustainer. He is a sufficient one. Most definitely, y'all. Yes, yes. Yah, Yahweh, Yahuwah, Yahweh, Shai, Yahweh, Ben Yahweh, Yahai, Yeshai, Yeshua, Hamashiach, Barakafa, Shalawam, Shalom, Yeshua, Elohim, the consuming fire. Ahai Yeshai, Yahusha, Yahusha, Yeshua. Yes, yes, y'all. He is the God of heaven and earth. He is the Father of the fatherless, the Father of widows, the Father of mercies, the Father of widows. 
His son sits at the right hand of him. The government rests on his shoulders. He is the great physician who can heal all things. He is the carpenter who can fix all things, most definitely. With God, all things are possible. Yes, yes, y'all. Got to trust in him, people. Got to trust in him. All right. The Lord of all, the Lord of glory, the Lord of lords, the man from heaven, the man of sorrows, the mediator of the new covenant, the mediator, the message of the covenant, the Messiah, the mighty God, the mighty one, the morning star, the Nazarene, the offspring of David, the only begotten son of God, our great God and savior, our holiness, our spiritual husband, our Passover, our protection, our redemption, our righteousness, our sacrifice, Passover lamb, the power of God, the precious cornerstone, the prince of kings, the prince of life, the prince of peace. The prophet, the redeemer, the resurrection of life, the resurrector, the resurrection, the life, the revelation, the revelator, the righteous branch, the righteous one, the radiant one, the perfect example, the rock, the root of David, the rose of Sharon, the ruler of God's creation, the rule of the kings of the earth, the savior, the seed of woman, the shepherd and bishop of souls, the Shiloh, the son of Abraham, the son of David, the son of God, the son of man, son of the blessed, son of the most high God, the source of eternal salvation for all who obey him, the son of righteousness, the just one. The one mediator, the stone the builders rejected, the true bread, the true God, the true light, the true vine. Yes, he is the truth. Amen. He is the way. Hallelujah. He is the way, truth, and life. The wisdom of God, the witness, the wonderful counselor, the word, the word of God, the word of life, the word of Yahuwah, the word of Elohim, the word of Yeshua HaMashiach, the word of Yahawashai, the word of Yehosha, Yahusha, Yeshua HaMashiach. He is a true word. Amen. Just like in Psalm said, David said, the word is pure, fine silver, and the word is a double-edged sword. Amen. We touch and agree. Uh, most definitely proclaim his name, boast in the Lord, call on his name, give him glory, praise, honor. Boast in the Lord, boast in the Lord, boast in the Lord. He is awesome, mighty, amazing, and worthy. He has looked out for us in so much more ways and continues to look out for us in multiple ways, more than one. He is that awesome and mighty. Amen. Yes, yes, y'all. Tell everybody how great the Lord has been in your life and what he's done for you, what he's brought you through, y'all. Never lose sight of that. Never lose sight of that. Make sure you all keep the commandments. Make sure you keep the testimony of Jesus. Make sure you keep with the spirit of prophecy, okay? Hang in there, people. Hang in there. His son is so amazing for dying for our sins. His blood cleaned up our mess. Yes, yes, y'all. He is the seed of Abraham, promise, the seed of Adam, humanity, the seed of David, kingship, the seed of God, deity, the seed of Jacob, nationality, the seed of Judah, tribe. The seed of Shem race, the seed of woman prophecy. We touch and agree. Amen, amen. In the authority and power name of Jesus Christ, you are healed, renewed, restored, redeemed, forgiven, embraced, loved. New mind, new heart, new soul, new hands to prosper, new work ethic, new attitude, new heart, new just, new path, new feet, new steps, new journey, new destinations, new dreams, new visions. Sing a new song to the Lord. Yes, yes, y'all. New signs, new wonders, new uh, miracles, just new things in your life. Overflow, abundance, prosperity, Love, grace, favor, mercy, steadfast, stability, strength, joy, merry heart, gladness, all those things I speak in your life forevermore. Amen. We touch and agree. Bills are paid in Jesus' name. Healing is in Jesus' name. All the sickness and pain is gone in Jesus' name. Amen. Most definitely your situation with your family is is fixed in the name of Jesus. Your situation Concerning your housing condition or your job or your work is fixed in the name of Jesus. It is done. It is finished. No more worrying. No more anxiety. No more anxious. Give it all to the Lord. All prayers, requests, thanksgivings, petitions, give it all to the Lord out of your heart, people. The Lord is a solution. He will fix it. His power, his hand, hit the finger of God, the power of God, the outstretched arm of God will fix everything in Jesus' name. Amen. We touch and agree, y'all. So there you have it. All right. I just pray to God that whoever listens to this message, I pray that you repent and get baptized, touch your life up for the most high. I pray that you all stay alert, sober, and watchful in these end times. So so much going on and playing now right before our eyes. All right. So stay watchful, stay stay strong, hang in there, and stay encouraged for the Lord forevermore. Amen. Yes, yes, y'all. So what I love to do as I close out is give y'all this priestly blessing, okay? The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Shalom. I'm Jarvis Kingston. I got much love for you all. Praying for you all. Love you all. Peace.